Acids and bases can either be strong or weak. These words have very specific meanings. For example, a strong acid is not the same as a concentrated acid. Ah. In fact, the strength of an acid or base has nothing to do with the number of acid or base particles present in it. It instead is a measure of how much the acid or base breaks down or dissociates when it is placed in water. Remember that chemical reactions can either be represented by a single direct arrow that occurs in one direction, or by double arrows which represent a two-way reaction occurring. An acid or base which dissociates by a single arrow is said to dissociate fully, as all of the acid is able to be used up to turn into its conjugate. For example, look at a familiar equation. The reaction of HCl with water. HCl is a strong acid. All strong acids will fully dissolve in water, producing lots of hydronium ions, H3O+. Because this acid dissolves fully, all of the HCl gets turned into H3O+, and Cl-. But of course, it's possible to have a dilute solution of HCl, even though this would still be called a strong acid. So you can see how strong and concentrated mean very different things. So that was a strong acid. What about a weak acid? A weak acid is one that will only partially dissolve in water. This reaction is going to be a reversible two-way reaction, which forms an equilibrium. The most typical weak acid is ethanoic acid. The location of this equilibrium is heavily toward the left side of the reaction, which means that at equilibrium, we've got quite a bit more of the stuff on the left than we do on the right. Overall, this reaction does not produce very many hydronium ions, which is why a solution of ethanoic acid won't be very acidic. When a weak base, like ammonia, reacts with water, the reaction will be two-way, and once again, the equilibrium will lie pretty close to the left. Because the reaction is two-way, there will always be some ammonia present in the solution. Unlike hydrochloric acid, which is able to completely disappear and therefore donate all of its protons, ammonia is not able to be completely turned into the ammonium ion, and therefore can accept less protons. An acid or base which dissociates fully will always be stronger as it is able to use all of its resources towards accepting or donating protons. More dissociation means more hydronium or hydroxide ions, 